Okay, we're busy with our consumption function. Consumption equals autonomous consumption plus marginal propensity consume times the disposable income. We're now going to spend more time on this part of our consumption function, which is the induced part. And induced because it's that part of consumption spending that changes when income and disposable income in the economy changes. And what we see is that between your disposable income and consumption, there is a positive relationship, meaning that if disposable income increases in the economy, there will be a corresponding increase in the consumption spending by households. So as households have more income, they will increase their expenditure. Now, what is important is the role of the marginal propensity consume, small c. Now, small c has a value of less than one, meaning that what households do is they will increase their spending, but not by the same amount as they increase in disposable income. It will be less than the disposable income. So if we assume the marginal propensity is 0.8, then for a hundred increase in disposable income, that change will be 0 0.8 times a hundred and consumption will increase with 80. It's also true if your income and disposable income declines with a hundred, then your consumption spending will decrease with 400. So it's not a one-for-one one change. What is important here is to note that in our model, we're going to determine the level of output, which is our endogenous variable. From this, we know that if output changes, then disposable income increases in the economy, which then leads to an increase in consumption. Now, this relationship between output, disposable out income, and consumption is very important, as it's going to play an important role in what is known as the multiplier effect in our model.